vies, as een klap in ons arm, arme mense gezicht, vies, die tijd waar die hand van die religie hier kom, 1652, toe het die, toe die boesman, vir hom in peace gewacht, en vir hom uitgedeel, en vir hom gedeel, maar hy het met een sadistische neiging, en afgunstigheid, kan ek die woord stel, selfsuchtigheid, het hy die land van die boesman gevat, die grond, die vee en alles, wat een peace, I've been shining, trying to get paid. You've been trying to throw shade on the young and I've been at your shining, trying to get paid. You've been trying to throw shade on the young and this is cops, that's revenge. Nickname Yadi. Uh, tell him who the boss be. Block of housing projects. You understand? Yeah, but we actually have two groups. We have the far flat, so we have the pink flat, so. and then we have the PCA flat, which is the vert flat. That one's like on a stoop. Um, and as you know, how how people got into living in the flats is when the families get moved out, and then they get put into these flats. So every place either has like long blocks of masonite that, that, that they would call it but like it would be considered a so it's a flat you understand it's not like a flat in sea point but like it's, it's the same thing but it's just where it's poverty stricken it's fucking gang riddled but then there's also positive stuff you know is humans that that are still around or whatever but they don't need to be a product of the environment type of thing you know so it's it's a whole, it's a smoothie. So, for those who don't know what the smoothie is, it's a fucking, what do they call it? It's not salsa, not reddish, but relish. So, all that stuff, all mixed, and then that's what the, what the flat is basically. You know? The term is like a, a degrading term. Like, you shouldn't like be, be calling yourself colored because overseas, it's a, it's a, it's a, a racial slur. Like nowadays, I'm like I'm. I don't know what. I don't think about it deeply to say like, am I colored? I'm like, I'm like Zorius, no, an exotic fuck that shit. Like, you know, just putting like a label like that. But like people would say we uncultured. Power. I'm like, no, don't talk. Cut. We got car culture. We got taxis. We got fucking dress, fashion sense. Like I think bubble culture is like is big in the, in the, in the, in the south. Weinberg, the grassy parks. But the bubbles just had that thing in Cape Town. But it's predominantly more in the south. You, you can you can go there because that's where, like a lot of things is from there, like the fucking cars. Everything is just doper from that side. But then you also have like standouts. Like you would say in Cape Town, the Cape Colored communities, people don't have, they don't earn much. They live off the minimum. But when it comes to street, swag and clothing line and especially footwear they would have less to eat but they will be wearing the most expensive kits they put they all into it Amble keys known as queen queen of kicks uh... like my father was always into it he was always like he must have i must have and then just keep going Everyone needs to have a bubble. Yeah. Like Newborn, like, old, uh, granny, bad like, This is, a, this is one, of, one of our ones that we sourced. It's like an infant bubble. Mm. You see these are quite popular. Kids are starting to camp out waiting for like toddler releases. And one person see you do it and then like the next person want to do it. And it grows like that. Yeah, I can. Yeah. <laughs> for bubbles? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got like, they'll go to all with bubbles. Yeah. I think that's how deep it is also. Well, it's just like, because everyone knows Nike and it's air. Mm. So the air bubbles in the soul. We naturally want to excel. And excel means we're gonna go up and bubble makes us feel like we're up there somewhere in the clouds maybe, you know what I mean? Um, I would say it's just a way of life on the, colored, on the Cape Flatline. It's a way of life. 
Why? Because it's over the techies. <laughs> <laughs> like myself, I love by the by the way of life of saying we dialogue to be mass. And that's how we go forward. Fashion, I mean, the shit that we were wearing 10 years ago is retroing now and it's being hailed as almost like it's a new style or a new way of dressing. When actually, this is something that we have already been indoctrinated to so many years ago. The only thing that you have to present to the world is your beard. The only thing that you have to offer the world to show them something different as to what's happening in your real life, as to what's happening at home, you know. So when you do that, you automatically want to come up in the most flamboyant or the most extravagant or you know the best of the best. And most of the time it was a Nike or Jordan. That was the most expensive shoes that were in a store. All those traps that have been set up for us, whether it's from the education department, whether it's from, you know, the, the housing department, or whatever the case may be, all those things get set up in order for us to fail. And yet we emerge from these places, dressed to the fucking team, like the elite. And that's why I say it's a miracle. And we knew that if we put that on our feet, it would elevate us to a temporary status of that privileged success. Temporary. But it comes from a place of struggle. <laughs> the tackies, the jewelry, the outfit, it comes from a place of struggle. The whole identity that we have is from the ghetto. Like in Cape Town, it was crazy and what the gangsters wore definitely impacted us. Yeah, in definitely like, like if you come from like places like Kensington, <laughs> Mitchell's Plain Retreat, like Grassy Park even, that's the shit you saw. Yeah. So it's the older Owens, you as a young bra, trying to stand out in whatever situation you find yourself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the sneakers you are not made. So I don't say the sneaker makes you, but that's yeah. part of the <coughs> daily loving the back streets, you know what I mean? What's the use? I save a million rent up for in 10 years time, but I'm dying tomorrow. Although we all strive to go further in life, you know what I mean? For a better future, for our children, for a better life for them, you know what I mean? Um, I just want to cross the board and we're trying to make money to buy shoes like that from Lister and Unwanted Kicks here. That's not what we do. Sell flowers, bikes, <laughs> make cash. So we can wear shoes like that and like that. When we started at Nine Kicks, um, we started out with five P's. Five P's, huh? Five P's. Now we boost you a month over 50 tackies. So by that, it says a lot though. Yeah, like I was always on the hustle of tip, you know, it's like shit, you know, that's what I want. How am I going to get it? Like, it's not an answer of I'm not going to get it. It's like I will get it, but there's steps that need to get done to get it. I would always see the type of sneakers that we rocking. And it would be like, yo, where do you actually get these from? And then from that, it's like, cool, we can actually import it. So that's what we started doing. Now you have kids wanting the shoes that they've, like I said, now their uncles may have passed on or whatever. They saw photos of shoes that is not in any way available, but they want that shoe. For me, it's like I grew up like with like kids like walking around with full Nike jack suits and like had the best sneakers and stuff. Um, and I grew up with my grandmother dressing head to toe in a color. Like, she would go to church and she'd be like, okay, I'm wearing red today, and she'd be like, red at. 
red t-shirt then she like break it with like a white pants and then like a red shoe, red nails and so I always try and draw on those type of things so like if I'm wearing a specific colour like today I'm wearing blues and we drawing from our culture to do that and I think that's been such an important part of how I've gone about the way I live, the way I go overseas, or what I do, the way I see life. So it's like, how do you grow that whole community? The dope thing about Sneaker Exchange right now, it's like, last year we did a campaign called Sneakers Have No Color. Everybody is coming there to exchange culture. You know what I'm saying? It's culture, it's music, it's art, it's sneakers, it's fashion, it's food. It's like, everybody is coming together to like exchange. For us to know that we have that thing here now and this the world knows about it. Cape Town Brasa, we saw some shit this year. It blew me away. Unwanted kicks, I saw that, that means it's table. I was like, mas, oops, where the fuck did you get the shoe? Do you understand? I'm like, what the fuck? So shout out to 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 to, to Zaid them, Yaya them, yo, all that means. Uh. And now it's like, yo, how do we kind of create that same mindset here of yo guys? We, 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 we building towards the future, we're aware of the past, we're not going to be taken for a joke again, but let's come past and actually build on something and create stuff and really show the rest of the world the powerhouse that we are. Let me know one thing, that if you want to make it out of the past, a place where they have put you to fail, if you want to make it out of the past, you have to be incredibly good. You can't be average, you can make it in cars, you can make it anywhere.